Hey everybody, welcome back to Universe Jarvis. I've got some new content from you guys and I've actually kind of been waiting around to upload this particular video and it's yet again what I tend to do best and what I have a lot of on this channel. It's some shopping excursions, some new merch that I acquired. This particular brand, it's one that I wasn't really super familiar with and one that Sam actually introduced me to and I've kind of gotten to like a couple of the pieces. Don't know if anybody's ever heard of Spray Ground. So, got a ton of Spray Ground stuff that I'm going to show you guys. Some of the stuff is actually new drops or at least one of the things that's in this guy right here. But I'll probably get to that one last because I'm really excited about it. I ordered it and their stuff sells out super, super mega quick. So, if you go to their website, SprayGround.com, and you see it, you probably want to go ahead and get it because it may not be available and a lot of the things are limited edition runs and we'll kind of get into that here in a second. I hope everybody had a great 4th of July. We are... I can't really say halfway through the month, but we're in another month and I'm really ready for 2020 to be over with because this has been quite a year. I had a very uneventful 4th of July weekend up until Sunday when I was attacked and stung in the lip by a hornet. So. Not, not a hornet, geez, a wasp. So that was pretty fun. So hopefully the swelling's actually gone down. You don't really notice it that much. I have big lips anyway, so hopefully it works out. Anyhow, let's go ahead and dive right in and start looking at some of the spray ground stuff. And I've got a ton of it sitting here on the floor, so bear with me. A lot of different pieces. We're going to actually start with one of the backpacks. So this guy here, this is a ID4, so Independence Day. And if you guys can see, you got Will Smith and a Jeff Goldblum there on the front and that's from the original Independence Day but I guess this was a special edition one that they came out with for Independence Day 4 which came out and this is what I was saying about a lot of these limited edition and that basically says the journey begins I guess it kind of has a number or whatever of this particular run and really nice backpack that's velour you got another pocket. They're known for their little stash pockets. I guess this is the stash pocket here at the top, also lined with velour. Super nice. Kind of got little accents to spray ground. Spray ground there on the back. And this is just a nice laptop book bag. And even the tag kind of matches. And we found this for a really good price at a urban store, City Trends. I don't know if anybody is familiar with that. So that's this one. And the tags are really nice. They're metal and they kind of give them these little specific little accents, which is also kind of nice. So this other one here is one that Sam actually got. It's not mine. And kind of fell in love with. Went back to, I think Virginia got it. And they put these really cool things on their bags too, which it's kind of like a dollar bill or I guess what is the currency on this? That. that's a million and it's silver so it's, I think it's kind of neat I was actually gonna leave mine on I was told that that looks stupid so to take it off but this is one that he saw that he really liked and it's basically got a bunch of cash and in one of those plastic bags that you would get from like a restaurant or something same little accents the pull tabs on this or the zipper zippers are silver and this one's actually PU so it's a PU leather it's not actually real leather but it's that polyurethane leather. So this one was actually a little bit more. The difference kind of between the two, this is not the premium one, if you will. It's still expensive. I think these are, I think this would have retailed for about 65 bucks. This guy was, would have been around probably 85. I think it was actually $70. But that one, the first one I showed you, got it for actually 20 bucks, which was phenomenal. So kind of the same thing. You know, they're very, very similar, just different materials and different designs. So you've got that limited edition tag on the inside right there. The journey begins with what they put on all of them. And then you've kind of got a little pocket right here that's lined in velour as well. So this is a really nice one with those silver accents. And it's got a pocket actually back here as well to kind of shove some stuff in. And it actually you probably can't see really well. You can see it a little bit, but it's also got that little money motif going around in the back down there. So I guess that's the secret stash pocket. So that should mean... Yeah, this one has one of those too. Oh, so that's these two. They're really cool backpacks and actually found a mask on their website. They have masks because, you know, we're dealing with COVID. It's COVID season, COVID year, whatever you want to call it. So they actually had a money mask that actually matched it, which is pretty cool. And these are actually some really good masks. I've been very, very happy with them. I have one too, which I'll show you here in a moment. And they're fitted, so they fit on your face really nice. And these ran for about 18 bucks, and all of them are sold out. When these dropped, they were basically gone instantly, so they're no longer available. 
So if you didn't get one then, they may do another run, but they were all sold out, all gone. And this is mine, the one that I ended up liking. And it kind of gives you like that look of Fendi, which I'm not really into, but it actually, it, I think this is called the, uh, what offensive is what this one was called, and it has fuck on it. So I thought that was kind of cool and kind of clever, and I really liked it. So now I guess we can jump into kind of the meat and potatoes here. This bag full of stuff, full of stuff that we found at City Trends and I actually went around to another one hunting for some more of this stuff. So you guys have seen I've kind of lately I've gotten into the fanny packs. They also call them crossbodies, I guess, because you kind of wear them across your chest or whatever. So this is one. It's got a flame and it's kind of a polyurethane like that other thing. This is actually fuzzy. So that actually has some texture to it, which is really nice. It's got spray ground there on the side. The zipper on this one is black. And then you've got spray ground kind of going around the waistband. And then when you open it up, it's got a nice racing pattern on the inside, the racing checkerboard. And then this is, I guess, part of the cream line, which I've actually never heard of that brand. But so this was another little special edition one, I guess. And I actually found this one for this, like 15 bucks. Which, like I said, these would run you about 60, 70 bucks. I think on their website that's about what they cost. And then we've got this bag here. Now I'm actually going to show you this one first because I didn't even notice this when Sam actually saw it and so I picked it up. I like weird, colorful stuff and this is actually pretty cool. It's very similar to the Coachman's that I've done a review on. This is kind of a nice little crossbody and it's that, you know, polyester. It's kind of water resistant like that book bag is. And it's really nice. It's got the accents here. It's the totem pole. So you've got a bird up there, I guess an eagle or a raven, a bear. And then that's the spray ground shark. That's kind of their thing. They're known for putting that shark pattern on everything. And so this is the front of it, the spray ground logo. And then it actually has some little wings down here on the bottom, which is pretty cool. And it's got a little pocket right here that you can put stuff in. And of course, when you open it up, and this one's got nice little white zipper pulls on it. So this is another limited edition one. It's got a couple different sections, and this is that little thing that I just showed you on the other one. I actually kept it down in the bag, so this actually expands a lot. I used it when we were in Atlanta for my birthday, and I carried it just for one day, but it was kind of nice. I can actually fit a lot more stuff in here. I actually even had the vlogging camera that I'm using stuck down in here, and it's got a little secret stash pocket. You can't really see it, but that is actually a pocket right there. I just opened it up, and so you can stick you know, cash or whatever down in it, and it's hidden, which is super nice especially if you're out somewhere traveling so nobody can get into your stuff. So that's that one. Now we also, and there's a ton of stuff in here, like I said. So here's another one, another fanny pack. This actually has that, I want to say it's an eagle. Yeah, and I think that's what was on the other one. So nice little pattern, spray ground logo, black zippers, another limited edition one. So these were great finds. These were about $13, I think, which is a really, really good buy for these. So we definitely couldn't have left them and we pretty much cleaned out everything that we saw. So this is another one. This is polyurethane. This one was actually kind of neat. So it's got the shark mouth on there and you probably can see there's a plastic film on it. They put that on there to protect it because of the color. So it's kind of a white camo. It's giving me like 3D vibes with how the shark mouth is and then those. And the zippers on these, zipper pulls are really nice. Red and blue on that guy or this guy. And then same thing limited edition so this is another great find this one was actually this is saying eleven dollars so this one's actually cheaper than i thought it was so they had two of these we got both of them <laughs> and then this is another really cool collab one that they did so this one's actually done with marvel which is kind of nice and let's see if i can get where you can see it so that one says wakanda forever and that's vibranium down there at the bottom so they actually had a marvel line or Marvel drop that they did. Just a black zipper on this one, which is kind of nice with that purple. And then another limited edition. So these were some great finds. And we actually got two of those as well, because that's what they had. So we got two of those also. And I already showed you guys the flame one. I'm actually going to sit it over here with the rest, because I actually have to make space to put these things. I've so many bags. It's kind of getting a little bit ridiculous with me in the bag. So now the piece de resistance the one that I ordered so they had another drop I want to say it might have been might have been right before we went to Atlanta they had another drop because I think they were celebrating I, I don't know if it was 10th year anniversary but they were celebrating the anniversary of I guess being a company 
So they had to drop all these different bags, a lot of cool stuff. There was actually one I was really torn with. They had a Powerpuff Girl ones, and I'm kind of dating myself, but I used to love that cartoon on Cartoon Network. Me and my brother would always watch it. I would get in from school and watch it. I was in high school at the time, but it was a great show. I really liked it. Like, so if you don't know what it is, you probably need to look it up. Maybe I'll do a rant or talk about it one day. But I was really torn. I almost got that one. But then there was another one. I was, I'm really into anime. Probably not as much as I used to be, but I watch a lot of cartoons. I don't really watch a lot of real TV. So this is an anime that's really popular. A lot of people watch it. It's kind of a long series. It's got two parts. It's Naruto. So you've got Naruto and you got Naruto Shippuden. Eh, didn't really watch a lot of Shippuden. Kind of got burnt out on it, but... This bag is actually a Naruto bag, and it has something else on it that I really like, so let's go ahead and open it up. It was actually supposed to be delivered last Friday. It didn't get here until, I think, um, when did it come? I think it came Sunday, so I was actually kind of surprised because Saturday was a holiday. I didn't get it Friday, so I was thinking I was going to have issues getting it because I actually ordered some stuff from another company and never saw my stuff that got lost in translation or delivery, so I was really happy when this actually arrived. So let's go ahead and dig in here and look at this one see what it looks like. And I'm going to lower the camera just a wee bit. There we go. Let's get in here and see what we got. Oh, I'm loving the color on this already. So you can see it's kind of a deep red. I mean, almost a burden. I guess you could call this a garnet. Oh, and then they all, usually will give you spray ground stickers, a shark mouth, and the spray ground logo when you get stuff. I actually had this in my, um, came with my, uh, what is it called? My face mask. So, oh, this is really nice. So, you can kind of see it in plastic. Now, I'll point something out once I actually get it out of this plastic. And that's another reason I ended up settling on this one. It's got some pretty cool accents. So, there it is. You got Naruto sitting up here on top of the shark's mouth. And if you watch the anime, he really loves ramen. So, he's eating ramen, and the shark's mouth is actually ramen. So, that was another thing that kind of drew me to it and like there's the eyes for the shark so this is actually a shark so you've got the eyes on each side and then the mouth so it's kind of like carrying a shark backpack spray ground logo they did the naruto this is actually shippuden here so they did a shippuden logo got a little pocket right here kind of a nice thing they did with this one because it's you know i guess ninja asian type thing they actually kind of gave that a pattern that you would see on a lot of the, you know, a lot of Asian stuff. So I think that's pretty nice. And same as the other ones. It's got a pocket here. It's got a little compartment up here lined with velour. Nice little gold logo. And they covered in plastic to protect it, keep it from getting scuffed up. Because I actually think that's just plastic itself. And then opening up the bag here really really nice this is this is terrific i'm super happy about this one i'm actually going to probably carry this one it's going to be my workbook bag as i return to the office i'm super excited about it i'll probably definitely have to condense because i have a lot of stuff ah so i just discovered something so this is actually the stash pocket right here <laughs> and they always put a little card in there and they tell you congratulations you found the infamous stash pocket now don't tell anybody so I guess I just broke a secret but it's actually hidden there on the side which that's pretty freaking cool and you wouldn't even notice that I actually just happened to come across it and notice it and it's also got another pocket down here at the bottom that I didn't even notice and that actually I guess leads under that so pretty nice I'm super excited about this Really nice stuff. Now this one I think was 65. I actually was able to get it. I had a coupon, so I got it for like 55. So I got about $10 off. So that's pretty much it. Oh, got the camera. And a couple little bit more. This is why I need somebody else to do. So that's all I got for this particular video. There's another one that I'm getting ready to record right after this one. So please watch it. Some more stuff that I got a couple weeks ago. And I'm a little bit behind, but you know, I was on vacation, went back to work. It was holiday weekend we've been doing a lot of stuff around the house and actually this room that i'm in the office slash i don't know what you want to call it going to be doing some more rearranging to it so this futon that i'm sitting on is going to be moved to the wall that you guys can't see and you know it's going to be a lot more going on in here and i actually have some stuff that i want to do as far as clothing and things go because you guys know if you're subscribers to the channel and you watch my videos that i actually shop a lot so gonna try to shift the focus a little bit and focus on some of that stuff because it's stuff that I enjoy and that I like doing and I love finding a deal. 
So that's all I got for this particular video. Do not forget to subscribe below. I will provide the link to Sprayground's website so you can check out their gear. They actually just had a luggage drop, I think, last week, and a lot of that stuff sold out. Some really nice pieces, a little bit pricey for me. Don't travel enough to probably need any fancy, fancy luggage. Probably wouldn't even really want to put it on the plane anyway because it'd probably get damaged. But they got some nice pieces. A lot of the stuff is starting to sell out. But like I said, definitely check them out. Their stuff leaves really quickly. And I'm, like I said, I'm newer to it, but I've been really, really happy with what I've experienced so far. And I think you'll like it if you like kind of urban, creative stuff. I think it's a great brand. Not, haven't really gotten, they actually have clothing too. Haven't really gotten to the clothing. But as far as their bags and stuff, I've been super pleased. And I think you'll like their stuff too. Before you leave this video, would not do not forget to subscribe below. I'm trying to get to 300, and that's kind of a threshold. The goal is to be over a thousand. But I appreciate all the support. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you liking, and I love your comments. You guys are great, and I get a lot of constructive stuff, which is awesome because it helps me grow as a YouTuber and it helps me improve. You know, I've, I've got a lot of work still to do as far as I want to try to get into some video editing. But right now, it's kind of raw and off the cuff. So, you guys are great and. <laughs> you've been bearing with me and I really appreciate that but tune into the next video don't forget to subscribe comment below catch you guys later Universe Jarvis out